<laughs> your mom made her choice. Yes. And we're all here. Yeah. I'm just... What's the consequences of that choice? <laughs> Democratic Congresswoman Katie Porter is freaking hilarious. So she dunked on Bill Maher on his own show. Now, it was to make a, a larger point, and it was all in good fun. Though I did find it kind of uh, odd how Bill Maher appeared to uh, take offense to it. So I, I'm going to show you two clips here. The first clip is the dunking, and uh, the second clip, when I come back, uh, will be Porter going deeper into this issue and why it's so important. But first... Here is uh, Katie Porter dunking on Bill Maher. Look, I am pro-choice, but I mean, I'm a little squishy and always have been because they told my mother after my sister, very difficult birth, she shouldn't have another one. So knowing that I could have been on the cutting room floor, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is that so terrible? <laughs> I... But I get it. As long as it's still in you, you... Your mom made her choice. Yes. And we're all here with the consequences of that choice. (laughs) I just want to say, Mrs. First of all, fuck you. (laughs) You can go watch another show. We got got a lot on the lot here, if I'm not doing it for you. I just want to say, God bless... I'm asking the hard questions. God bless Mrs. Marr. God God bless her for having you. I'm sure it wasn't easy. (laughs) kids it ain't easy but the point is well, she and your father and she made her choice yeah, I, again i'm not arguing what you're pretending i'm arguing for all of you on this panel and you assholes who <laughs> i don't even so, think Clint said anything so i don't think he should be blamed for he's it. not i'm talking to you <laughs> totally too. all right so i found that <laughs> very entertaining it doesn't happen very often where where somebody on Bill Maher's panel is willing to use him as the butt of a joke. And look, it's hard to tell if Bill Maher was uh, bothered by that or not. He appeared to kind of get angry about it. Maybe I'm wrong. That's how it looked to me. Once he sat down, he looked kind of pissed off, which if he was angry or did bother him, it's kind of funny considering he always goes after millennials for being snowflakes and always so sensitive. Yet here's Bill Maher not even being able to take a, a joke here. But um, Katie Porter is exactly right. This is a choice. This is about women's health care. This is about a choice that that uh, a woman should, should be able to make about her own body. This, I mean, we can go on and on and on about all the decisions that we make in our lives where it could have gone down a different path, something could have changed. The idea that Bill Maher is, uh, you know, isn't so sure about this issue because his mom may have not had him. I mean, <laughs> that, that's that's a conservative way of thinking. He's thinking within his own bubble, with his, within his own life experience, and not thinking about, well, the opposite of that is forced birth. Forcing someone to carry a child to term against their own will. I mean, how is that not abuse? So this is a woman's health care issue. They, have, they should have the right to make the decision in their own life or and for their own life. Um, now, let me get to Katie Porter here uh, again. This time she gets deeper in the issue and really goes after Joe Biden for his failure on women's rights. I, this is just an issue of right and wrong. I'm the only person sitting at this table who has ever had to face these kinds of healthcare decisions. And Joe Biden is is simply trying, Biden's trying to make a political decision here and failing still to recognize that this is a personal decision. And even when he talked about it, even when he talked about it, he couldn't quite get the word out. It was like health care for women that might involve, you know, some pieces of you that are sort of, it's like women cannot have social and economic equality without the right right to control their bodies, without bodily autonomy, period, full stop. And the fact that Biden... Look, I was a professor, better late than never for the student who gets it on the last day of class. But literally, if this is for him a reckoning that's coming out of political motivation rather than out of understanding what what it means to be 
oh, I don't know, half of the world's population, right. then, then that's a real problem. All right. So Katie Porter here is 100% right. And uh, before I go any farther, I just have to acknowledge how funny Katie Porter is. She's naturally funny. I mean, she could be a comedian if she wasn't a, a, a congresswoman. But um, everything she says here, I mean, I don't want to go over all the points she just made. She made them better than I would ever be able to make them. So go rewatch the clip if you need a refresher on what she just said. But Katie Porter willing to go after Biden here shows you what a lot of Democrats are lacking. And that's their willingness to actually challenge power and not just general power, but specific power, certain people or corporations, certain corporations actually naming names. I mean, you really only have Katie Porter, AOC, uh, Rashida Tlaib, a couple others actually willing to call out the powerful by name, actually willing to call out people within the, their own party by name. I mean, Porter is doing this knowing full well that Biden could be the Democratic nominee. So understand here that she is not only brave, but this is a, a rare congresswoman in in her seat here willing to do what other congresspeople are not willing to do. And she deserves all the credit in the world for saying it.